So this video will show you how to take stills and snapshots from VLC Player. And the first thing you'll have to do is download VLC Player. And like I said in class, if you Google search VLC, it's the first result that comes up. And this is what the website looks like. You just click download and install it. But I already have it installed, so we're not going to do that. Now, to open a DVD, go to Media, Open Disk, and then where it says Disk Device, click Browse, and your DVD drive should come up under Computer, My Computer. But I already have my DVD open. One thing you'll have to do is set the preferences for taking images. Now, if you click Video on the left hand of the pre Preferences window, and then scroll down to the bottom. Be sure to change format from PNG to JPEG file types. They're just a little easier to work with. And then save. And now you have to open the advanced controls so you'll see the keys for taking stills and recording video clips. So go to View, and then just click Advanced Controls, and you'll see the four buttons pop up under the timeline. And the first is the Record button, then the Snapshot button, then the Loop button that I said you won't really need, and then the Frame by Frame Advance button. So now I'm going to go to a clip that I want to record. And I already know where in the DVD it is, so I'm just going to go there with the menu and then fast forward a little bit. So now I'll let it play and I'm going to take a snapshot of a specific image. So all you do is just click the snapshot button and you'll see a little screen and screen version of the image and it tells you where it saved the file. And it saves the snapshots to your pictures file folder and video clips to your videos folder in Windows. So now I'm going to show you what the frame by frame tool does. So if you push play and then pause and click the frame by frame button all the way on the right of the advanced controls, you can see that the frame gradually advances and then you can hit the snapshot button to take the picture that you want. It just gives you a little bit more control over what you're doing. So now we'll do a video clip. And I want to make sure that I have a little bit of lead in to the scene that I actually want. So I'm going to press the record button and you can see that it turns blue to let you know that it's recording the clip. And then you just let the DVD play at its regular speed and it records video and sound, but I cut the sound out so that you can hear the instructions better. And when you're done, you just click the record button again, and it turns back normal color. It's not blue anymore. And now if I go to Windows Explorer, I can see in my pictures folder, it's got the two stills that I took, the first one, and then the frame by frame advance. And then if I go to my videos folder, you've got the video clip and it'll play in Windows Media Player or you can open it in VLC but you can see that it captured exactly what we just watched. So that's it.